next question is from gate 2017 set to two more question two plates of 8 mm thickness each are connected by a fillet weld of 6 mm thickness as shown in the figure These two plates are connected by the help of fillet weld. The width of this particular plate is given as 100 mm. Then this value is 100 mm. This is also 100 mm. This length of the weld is given as 50 mm. Load is applied in the longitudinal direction. This is P. This is also P. Plate thickness is 8 mm. Weld thickness is given as 6 mm. Permissible stresses in the plate and the weld are 150 MPa and 110 MPa. given as 150 MPa and permissible stress for weld is 110 MPa. So we will find out the permissible value of the load which we can apply on this particular plate. Now, this load value we can calculate by two forms. The load which can be taken up by the plate or the load value which can be resisted by the fillet weld. So, we will calculate the load value from both these conditions and the minimum of these two will be the permissible load value. So first, we will calculate the load which can be resisted by the plate. So this comes equals to, the permissible stress of the plate is given as 150 MP. So 150 multiply by the thickness of the plate is 50 mm into, sorry, width is 50 mm and the plate thickness is 8 mm. Therefore, this value comes equals to 60 kilo newton and the load which can be resisted by weld is equals to total length of the weld is 50 plus 100 plus 100. Effective throat thickness will be, weld thickness is 6 mm. So 0.7 into 6. Now this is the area of the weld which we have applied in this particular in the form of fillet welding. Now this area multiplied by the permissible stress of weld which is 110 MPa comes equals to 115.5 kilo newton. So these two load values we are getting by plate and by the weld. So many of these two will be the required permissible load and which is 60 kilo newton. So therefore 60 is the right answer.